we're back from J Mills Tuning. We're back with this single cam setup. You might remember it from a few videos ago. We had to quit because of a head gasket failure. We were doing a flex fuel tune on this one and we got up to 20 pounds of boost and 45% ethanol. And it was making 355 horsepower. Well, when it did that, we uh, pushed coolant out of our overflow jug because the head was lifting. We had a head gasket failure. Uh, so we have fixed the head gasket. We're back. The plan is to go ahead and strap it down. If everything is good and the tune is where we left off, we're going to remove the mixed fuel, the 45% ethanol, and we're going to put in straight E85. Turn the boost up and shoot for the 400 wheel horsepower. That's the customer's goal. So let's get moving. Okay, so this is where we left off. 355 horsepower, 268 foot-pounds of torque. That was on 20 PSI. Our air fuels were pretty good. Okay, so we're at 42% ethanol on the ethanol content. We're gonna just run through it, make sure everything's good and kosher before we move forward with uh, putting straight E85 in it. We might find that we need to do some touch-up tuning after replacing the head gasket things could be different let's fire it up and let it warm up She's not plugged in. Yeah. Not plugged up. Why? I don't know. We just put a head gasket on it. This is the things I deal with behind my help. Let me not talk junk though. Oh, it works now. and we're done just like that no we're not done uh, bad news kind of right now we're at 42 percent ethanol it fluctuates between 42 to 44 percent we before the head gasket messed up we had just introduced ethanol we had the fuel curve correct for pump gas now that we have done the head gasket repair the air fuels are way too far off for me to move forward and change things now uh the fuel curve needs to change tremendously to get the air fuels back correct and boost. I don't know what's happened, what's changed. I don't know nothing. I do know that the customer ain't going to like this because it's going to cost a little more, but here we go. We're just going to have to remove the ethanol, put pump gas back in it, 
get that ethanol percentage back down to like 10 to 15 percent and start our tuning over and then once we get the pump gas tuned correct we'll introduce ethanol so let's get going all right we've hooked to our return line and the cool thing here is you can take honda to key the car on you can go to test outputs test fuel pump and turn her on till the fuel pump i mean till the fuel tank is empty <laughs> made a mess our gas light has not come on yet but uh if you listen the fuel pump is gurgling Yeah, we're gonna shut her down. I think we're ready for our first pull. I've done some tuning off camera. Got the air fuels back right, it appears. Uh, turned the boost down just to get things back on track. So uh, this pull should be around 14 or 15 PSI and we're gonna go to red line if everything's good. Let's give it a try. pull was 277 horsepower 219 foot pounds of torque and that was on 14 psi our tune is good to move on let's turn the boost up we have turned our boost by gear back on so we're gonna try to target around 18 19 psi boost this time Last pull was 311 horsepower, 245 foot pounds of torque. That was on 17, P 17 PSI. boost did not work or the boost control did not work that last pull i don't know why i have looked through the tune i cannot find any reasoning for it we should have made 17 psi again but we made a whopping 9 psi on 9 psi it made 277 horsepower let's try again i have no idea files trying to go corrupt or something uh, it looks like i got an early rev limiter yeah look it's set for 2500 i didn't do that just because i hit upload god dog 
Hopefully nothing else changed. I do not know what's going on with the boost control. That was weird. Also with the early rev limiter that changed itself. I didn't change those settings. Welcome to my world. Okay, that'll be my last pull on pump gas. So we made 321 horsepower and 246 for torque. And again, that was on 17 PSI. We're gonna put some ethanol in it. We're gonna go back to the 40 to 45 percent ethanol content and begin tuning the ethanol well we're at 34 percent ethanol content let's give it a go pull was 340 horsepower 260 foot pounds of torque and there's our boost graph we're still on 17 psi we gained just by adding ethanol so that was 30 percent ethanol we're gonna dump in some more and try to get it between 40 to 50 before putting full strength e85 in all right we're at 46 47 percent ethanol content let's give her another pull Last pull was 343 horsepower, 262 foot pounds of torque. The green run, if you can see it, it didn't change much. Everything was the same. That's all I needed to see. Uh, we're gonna move on to straight E85. The ethanol content has made it up to 60%. Uh, we don't have good ethanol percentage around here. Normally in the summertime, you still only get 68 to 74 percent ethanol. I guess that crappy E85 I just poured on top of the mixed fuel isn't doing so great with the mixed fuel on top of it, or with the mixed fuel in it, it's brought the ethanol percentage down. So I'm gonna have to run to the gas station here shortly and get some more E85. But before we do that, let's do a pull on the 60 percent ethanol and see if we make any gains. I aborted that pool early. It was running lean, but we made 371 and 281 foot-pounds of torque. Since the ethanol content went up, the boost went up. We gained a two and a half, three PSI just from that. But uh, it ran lean, and when I saw that, I let out. Let's add fuel and continue on. 
that last batch of fuel we put in there, the straight E85, it didn't bring the fuel gauge up very much. So I think I'm gonna scratch the next pull. We're just gonna move on and put more ethanol in the gas tank. We're gonna put more fuel in. It's gonna bring the ethanol content up, so we won't know exactly what it makes on 60% ethanol. We gotta move on. Uh, we need more fuel in the gas tank, and that's what's gonna happen. That's what I'm gonna do to keep the engine safe. I think that's why we ran lean. I don't think I need to make that much of a correction. I think we're low on fuel, and that's what just happened. Okay, we're at 68% ethanol. That's the best we can do. It, uh, I tested it outside of the car with the ethanol content tester, and we got 70%. So that's pretty close. That's that's all we have. Uh, if we want to get straight E85, it's going to have to be out of a can from like VP Race Fuel. That customer's not doing this. Uh, we're just using pump E85. That's what we ended up with. Okay, 371 horsepower was our last run, 278 foot-pounds of torque. That was on 20 PSI. Air fuels were good that time, adding fuel helped. Look at that guy. We've given it just a little more boost. We're pretty much out of fuel injectors, but uh, we're maxing the injectors out, but I think I can squeeze a little more out of it. So we're gonna try for a little more horsepower, a little more boost. All right, the reservoir level is where I left it. The head gasket is good. That was our last pull. We maxed the fuel injectors out, so we are done. So we made 378 wheel horsepower, 282 foot-pounds of torque. That was on 70% ethanol. Let's go through this, sir. So 321 on pump gas, 343 on 45% ethanol. 378 on 70% ethanol. Pretty good. So we're gonna wrap it up and uh, test her on the street. And she's done, guys. See you next time.